I think Sweetie Belle is trying to say something here. Over the past two months, the MLP main series released issues number 41 and 42, both done by Katie Cook and Andy Price. I decided to tackle these issues together since, unfortunately, these are the last two issues that Katie Cook will be doing for the series, so I figured that this would be a send-off of sorts to her. That, and I was busy doing two long collabs last month. Anyway, the first issue we're gonna look at is Rainbow Dash and the Very Bad Day. When Dash is afflicted by a creature called a Dreary that affects her mood, bad vibes spread across Ponyville, turning everyone into grouches. So what's good? I enjoyed the style this comic was presented in. Similar to Andy Price's section of last year's holiday special, the story is told in the style of those old children's storybooks, with artwork to match and Zakora as the narrator. Well, at least they gave her something to do. Spike's occasional chimes here and there were a nice touch, and a huge part of the fun in this comic is seeing how mad everyone gets because of the drearies as their frustration gets worse and worse. So what's not so good? Throughout the comic, the art alternates between a style much like what we're used to from Andy Price and a lineless style that we haven't seen very often before, if at all. On their own, both styles are nice. Even the pseudo-fusion of both styles in that one panel towards the end looks really great but sometimes they don't mesh together well for me, specifically in areas where both styles are on the same page at once. Having them together like that felt kinda off to me, and it made reading the comic a bit weird sometimes. Still, it's a cute one-off story that kinda takes me back to when I was a kid, and if I can appreciate it for anything, it's that. Up next we got issue number 42, where Rarity and Pinkie Pie work together to make a picture book. What's good? Firstly, I like that the theme of this comic and the last one both have the common thread of being about books. While issue 41 is presented like a picture book, issue 42 is about making a picture book, and it makes for an interesting experience when you read these issues back to back like I did. The comic also makes much better use of Rarity and Pinky as a duo than the Gift of the Mod Pie did. While there was a fair amount of interaction between them in that story, this story's dialogue gave me a better sense of their personalities bouncing off of each other in a way that rivals Pinky and Twilight. Despite the impressions the comic may give you at first glance, this is just as much a Rarity comic as it is a Pinky comic. Their chemistry is helped by Price's art style which gives Best Unicorn some great facial expressions and reaction shots, and it makes it fun to see Rarity deal with her friend's antics and try to rein her in as best as she can. Still not OTP though. Just saying. Praise Barajack. The comic is full of references to other popular art styles and nods to some influential people in art history, so there's a little something for the history buffs too. My only minor gripe with the comic is that as we get close to the end, it became more about making more and more references without the well-written dialogue to go along with it, and it kinda took me out of the experience a bit. But in the end, it all came together with a heartwarming ending to wrap up a mostly enjoyable experience. I'm actually glad that IDW decided to release this comic second. While issue 41 was pretty good, and I certainly recommend both, issue 42 got some good laughs out of me, and it was a great way for Katie to go out. She was my favorite writer on the team and has written some of my all-time favorites in the series. Her work has brought me nearly to tears, both happy ones and sad ones and I wish her luck on whatever's in store for her in the future. And if she ever comes back to MLP, fate willing, it'll be great to have her again. So what did you think of Katie Cook's last two issues? Swarm that comment section below or bug me on social media, and consider supporting me through Patreon or PayPal art commissions. Until next time, keep it sketchy folks.